The many lives are scratched. Oh, are we finally going into that backstory? Oh, Jeff. Aw. Are they just constantly throwing parties? Jeff and Jeff are that couple that always seem to just be living that socialite life. <sighs> Gotta love friends who always offer free food. Death day, huh? Oh, death story. Wow. Uh, what a thing to make exciting. I kind of love <laughs> Like, you tell the story of how you died? I mean, is it that interesting? Wait, he died in a giant vat of chocolate? Well, dang. You're just mad because you don't remember. Oh, yeah. It's, it's Ghost Shark. Sharky. They want to throw him a death day. Yeah, Jeff. You weren't checking your privilege. Gonna throw a scratch a death day party. Oh, my God. Games. Ooh, shrimp. I love shrimp. Oh, God. What a messed up song. I love it. Killer Chinchilla. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> he doesn't remember. I mean, Molly, I feel like you should recognize that this is a touchy subject for him. Like, this, I, I have to admit, this is like one of the few situations where it's just like, Guys, you should know this. You, you should recognize how weirdly insensitive this is. He, he doesn't remember. Oh, God. You, you just want to make it up? Huh. <laughs> he's still going to eat the food, though. Exactly. <laughs> if nothing else, he's still going to eat. Yeah. Never let shrimp go bad. Oh, the many lives of Scratch. I guess he should probably have called this the many deaths of Scratch. So they're just going to make up stories? God. This could get hilariously morbid. Actually, it's already hilariously morbid. Hey, hey, don't play with the shrimp like that. They need to be eaten and savored. Ugh. You know, a few weeks ago, I had so much shrimp, and I love shrimp, so so much shrimp is never enough shrimp, and Jazz do. Does Scratch even like Jazz? Hey, Jeff. Scratch and Jeff. I like Scratch and Sniff. <laughs> Libby's the president. Kings of cool. Oh, God. Jeff's imagination is so wholesome. Our music never died. Jeff, somehow you missed the assignment, buddy. It was still sweet. Of course. His ego wants them to make up something cool for him. Libby is a writer. Oh, God. Do you really want her writing this, though? Under pressure. Of course, it's very Shakespearean. Is it Jack and the Beanstalk? He has to go and sell the cow in town? Scratch, in no reality, both living and dead, would you have ab? Oh, this is literally Jack the Beanstalk. Quinoa isn't cool. What's wrong with you? Save his sister. Jeez. Oh, oh. <laughs> so we're not gonna animate the fight against the dragon? <laughs> of course. No dragon fight, no giant fight, and geese fight. <laughs> his sister's Molly. Wait, even which is County House? Oh, werewolf? Okay. Band of werewolves. <laughs> it's the thriller. <laughs> A roving gang of dancing werewolves. Oh my god. <laughs> They're literally doing the thriller dance. God. Even the cow. Okay, so they just ate him. I mean, what? It had magic beans in it. Of course it's not believable. Oh god. Pete, retired boxer. Rocky. Pete the pummeler. Oh god. Oh, he gets abs. <laughs> Karen's enjoying this a little bit more than she probably should. Ooh, it is in fact a Rocky movie. Uh-oh, Daryl. Oh no, Centipede World. Not this again. Wait, isn't this Zootopia? Oh god. Oh god, there's another centipede infestation? Ew. God, I'm glad I never had to deal with that. Alright, how's Molly gonna spin this? He died doing what he loved the most. Eating? It it honestly would track if we found out he'd, like, died from choking to death on his favorite food. <laughs> Wait, he hates clowns? Huh, that's a new one on me. Based. No, don't take that shrimp. That is a waste of good shrimp. Oh god, how much shrimp was in the trash? Jesus. I mean, if it's all shrimp all the way down, I mean, why let it go to waste, you know? Man, I really want shrimp now. Yeah. Yeah, they did it for you, buddy. Aww. Uh... Oh, again with the centipedes? I don't know, I, I feel like I was kind of expecting, like, him to have, like, another moment where he remembered, what was her name, Ada? Like, that girl he knew. Because it seemed like Molly's story was connecting with him a little bit, that he grew up in Brighton, and but then it just kind of trailed off, but it's just like, it, I guess it really isn't that much to work off of. I figured maybe something would slowly trigger and Scratch, and he'd start telling a story, but then it would get real for a moment. I don't know, I feel like we, we, we kind of missed an opportunity to, to go a little bit deeper with that. I mean, it was a sweet moment, just really showing off how much Scratch and his friends care about each other, but I really feel like we missed something along the way on that story. Alaka Sham. Oh, jeez. Daryl's gonna be a grifter. Oh, oh, right. 
Molly hates magicians. Are we gonna, are we gonna find out the deeper root to all that? Or was that already explained? I still feel like I don't fully understand why she hates magicians. Daryl would be the one to do stuff like this. And of course, he's also using Scratch. I'm actually surprised it took this long for them to try to pull something like this like this feels like we would have done this a long time ago you know yep i mean it makes a lot of sense and he by all technical means is doing something people would pay to see i love that payoff uh, scratch you say you never get to have fun since you became the chairman but all i've seen you do is mostly have fun i feel like less than half the season so far has even been chairman stuff right i feel like only a third of the season so far has actually been him doing chairman stuff i mean yeah in other episodes he's enacted his grand role as the chairman but it wasn't him actually doing the job it was just him more or less abusing his position <laughs> really purse cabinet uh yeah i well this is definitely gonna come back to bite him in the butt oh Oh yeah, this guy doesn't care for the muscling in on his territory. He's actually pretty good. Yeah, now you're kind of being a little mean. I mean, dude actually is a magician in the traditional sense. Dang, I feel kind of bad about this one. Good luck with that, Daryl the Dazzler. Oof, you know what? <sighs> Kinda hoping that Irving kinda shows you up. Oh boy. Think about business cards in your left pocket. Mo Molly, what are you doing? I mean, her name's on the show. It makes a good deal of sense, but at the same time, it's like, why Molly? Who invited this chick? Molly, you have no horse in this race. Why are you here, girl? <laughs> the old girl. Nice. Sick already. Dang. Oh, God. <laughs> There are way too many people infiltrating this party. To the tall child with face of hair. Uh oh. Really? Oh my goodness. Y'all are taking this too far. You're taking this too far. Molly's weird hatred for magicians is one thing, but you're screwing with someone who actually hasn't shown that he deserves to be screwed with in this way. Oh god. I ain't legit. He actually has some great tricks. A duel. Irving, no. Oh boy, a magic face off. Actually, if you just split the cut for this, you both walk away with a lot. Daryl didn't bro blow all the, his earnings on advertisement, did he? No way that poster was cheap. Death. Uh, I can't wait for this skill side. Oh, yep, there it is. Ah, uh, you know what? This is one of the few times Daryl. Well, he deserves it the most to lose. Don't call me unless it's an emergency. It is an emergency. Yeah, it is a catastrophe. <laughs> Molly, you're enjoying this too much. But you know what? It's deserved. Molly, no! Molly, no! Let him twist in the wind. He deserves this. No, don't feel bad for him. He deserves it. He got himself into this mess. Dang it, Molly. You're too nice for your own good. Wait, what? Wait, what? No. Molly knows magic? But she hates magic. She hates being bamboozled in any way, shape, or form. What? Know your enemy. She learned it. Uh, okay, that face is horrifying, but you learn magic because you want to understand it? Because you hate it? So you can't be tricked? The psychosis of Molly in this situation should be studied. <laughs> is he really allowed to have someone added to the act? Then again. It's, it's a magical, it's a magician show off. Having an assistant isn't abnormal. And Molly has always had a thing against Irving. Oh, <laughs> oh, huh. Jeez, how the heck? How? Okay, some of this is actually. What? H how? I gotta admit, most of what you guys were doing is completely impossible. Like, at least with Scratch Around, most of it could be explained, but this is already crossed into the realm of. You people are actually performing legit magic because this place is definitely designed not designed for any of the wire work they were doing see i was waiting for this it's like Irving doesn't do this like for the glam or the glory or the even the money he does it because he really loves magic and this this is everything to him for daryl this is a whim but for irving um, oh, i kind of got it from the beginning this is his life. Uh, has Daryl actually learned a lesson? You know what? I think I'd appreciate that more than just seeing him get clowned on. Ooh. It's gonna uh, paint, contain, paint cannons. Gonna pull a Houdini. Uh, 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 uh. What? Oh, we didn't actually see the cursed cabinet showdown? Well, that's kind of a bummer. 
I figured it was going to be something like, oh, it escapes into Brighton or something during the magical showdown and it shows off for the crowd and people think that it was Daryl or something like that. Or it was all Irving and Daryl gets upstaged or Irving's BS magic ends up ha somehow saving the day or something. But it all happened off screen. That's kind of a bummer. Oh, jeez. Wow. A moment to show that deep down, Daryl is a McGee. 100%. Wait, does that seem- Oh, okay. Guess that makes sense. Doesn't mean that Scratch actually knows how to pick a lock, though. Uh... Oh! <sighs> nice! Aww. Aww. You know what? I was being real hard on Daryl, but the little guy actually... He, he, he proved himself to be a good guy in the end. I'm glad. I'm proud of the little guy, too. I wasn't actually expecting Daryl to actually do something so nice and selfless. He still got a lot of money in the end, so as we saw last episode, he knows when to walk away. Exactly. Like, you don't care about magic, and yet Irving does. I mean, l let's face it, Molly actually is comparable to Irving in terms of abilities, so, it, like, shoot, all three of y'all could actually be an amazing act. I mean, that, that was the big selling point of the whole show. Dueling magicians and all that? Oh, that could be so cool. Just speak of this again, Molly, you just performed an amazing act in front of the whole town. The only reason why nobody will talk about this past this episode is because this is an episodic, more or less, series. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> just ascended. What? Wiregame in this freaking clamshell is amazing! Holy crap! You know, I'm actually gonna be annoyed at the fact that we probably will never see Molly do anything like this ever again.